Hi, this is Mark LaRochelle from Productive Computing, and thanks for joining me on this video. I wanted to take a moment today to talk about a new product offering surrounding the idea of integrating FileMaker with AWS or FileMaker with Amazon Web Services. This is a FileMaker plugin that actually allows you to integrate with Amazon's S3. Now, before I have you all confused, if this is the first time you've heard of S3 and you barely know what AWS is, let's just take a quick step back and review what all that's about. So Amazon Web Services is a division of the company called Amazon, and you probably heard of Amazon. Amazon Web Services is the cloud portion of that company. And this is where they are offering all kinds of cloud and IT solutions. Basically, think of it as virtual servers in the cloud or virtual computing products that are available to mostly developers and companies to provide IT infrastructure in the cloud. All right, so that's a little bit about what that is. Now, you may already know that FileMaker Cloud runs on Amazon Web Services, and it uses various aspects of AWS in order to give you the cloud offering which is basically FileMaker server in the cloud. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what we can do with this FileMaker plugin that integrates with AWS and S3. First of all, we can create and delete buckets. Now, a bucket is a containment area on S3, and that's the first way that you can organize your S3. Now, a bucket can be public or private, and that's probably the distinction why you'd create one bucket versus another. You might have public buckets and private buckets. You may have a bucket based on some form of category. It's basically an organizational unit within S3. And you know you could actually have one bucket that does it all, or you can have several buckets that do different things based on the uh, particular functionality you're looking for. So this plugin can create, delete, rename buckets. Within that, you have folders and files. Technically, these are all objects. Folder is just a different type of object. But you can create folders, rename, copy folders. You can do the same with files. So the plugin establishes a secure connection to S3. It allows you to communicate as a FileMaker developer. You can create a simple script step or a series of script steps that allow you to take a file right from your desktop, upload it to S3. It will return to you a name, or you can provide it a name. And there's IDs and all kinds of information is available to you. You can query those objects. And essentially, you have your run of the house in terms of how you want to work with S3 as a FileMaker developer. Now, you might be asking yourself, why would you want to have S3 incorporated in your FileMaker system when FileMaker already has built in containers? I mean, what would be the purpose of even adopting S3? And there's quite a few reasons why you might want to consider S3 as an enhancement or even a replacement for the FileMaker containment system. So with S3, you are now independent of the mechanism of FileMaker. Now that for some is a good thing and for others that may be a bad thing. But there are many cases where you might already have an S3 bucket and that is a permanent fixture within your IT infrastructure and that's the game that you have to play by. So in that case, you can have FileMaker integrate with S3 and already talk and access those objects and continue to play nicely with that. In other cases, you may have a need for more of a public offering. You might want those objects available to the public through websites or through some other mechanism without having to go through FileMaker's infrastructure. So let me give you an example. Let's say you had a website with a repository of videos made available. You want those videos to be stored in a highly redundant, highly available object storage such as S3, and you want FileMaker to be able to index those videos on the back end while having them publicly available on the front end. You might find that video, especially video, works better if you have that streamed and available through S3, where traditional web developers and other people that might need access to those videos have access to them without having to go through the FileMaker mechanism to get to them. So that's just one example, and that's a video example. You could come up with the same similar scenario with documents. Let's say you had Word docs or PDF docs or any number of documents. You might not want to be bound and restricted by having those available only through the FileMaker mechanism and interface. Yes, FileMaker does give you a lot of ways to access those containers, but 
not nearly as flexible as having those objects strictly on S3 or the S3 products that go along with that. For example, if you have documents and things on S3, you can establish something called lifecycle rules, which allow you to programmatically move those documents to cold storage, lower cost storage. You can make them more redundant by having those copied to different regions within the Amazon infrastructure. So there's a lot of very technical reasons why you'd want objects in and available through S3 versus just FileMaker. And those are just a few examples. So I hope that you enjoy looking and exploring at this plugin. Having a plugin do this for you rather than writing all the code yourself sort of in a manual way is infinitely quicker and far easier and just more available to you as the FileMaker developer. So that's why we created this plugin to make your work with Amazon S3 that much easier. Well, thanks for watching this video. We hope that you enjoy this product. We made this product to make it easier for you, the FileMaker developer, to use your existing skills, just basic scripting is involved, to adopt this plugin, you establish that secure handshake, you can add, edit, delete files, objects, folders, buckets, and you can begin to integrate in a meaningful way directly to S3 with FileMaker without having to learn all kinds of new programming skills and spend the hours and hours it takes to build all this stuff on your own with uh, technologies that you may have not used or not very familiar with. So I hope you enjoy this product offering. We're excited about delivering it here to the industry and making that available to you, the FileMaker developer. Thanks.